Hey guys, what's going on? I just want to welcome you to this video. I know I haven't posted in a minute or two or three, but we're back with another one. So the big question in this video is going to be whether or not wood pegs or brass tacks, which is better, right? Which is better, and at the end of the day, it's whatever you prefer. I'll give you my two cents, I'll give you my opinion based on my professional experience and based on what customers say, based on some different things that I've seen. Mainly is my professional experience because I take a lot of these boots apart, we build boots, and then I'll kind of just go over why I feel some things would be better and, uh, and stuff like that. So anyway, without any further ado, let's jump right in. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. We're trying to get to a thousand, thousand subscribers by the end of July. And after we hit a thousand, a thousand subscribers, we can do live videos. We can chit chat back and forth. We have the ability to do a lot more things um, and a lot more things that'll benefit you in the long run. So hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, because apparently that has a lot to do with YouTube's algorithm, um, according to some YouTube people out there. So hit the thumbs up button, you know, help us get our channel out there so we can give you some cool information. So with that being said, let's jump right into what we're talking about, wood pegs or brass tacks. So the big question is, are wood pegs really worth it when it comes to cowboy boots? My answer to that would be, it depends, okay? It depends if a boot is manufactured, there's no point in hell that you need wood pegs. Wood pegs serve no point, serve no purpose in manufactured cowboy boots. And the reason for that is because a cowboy boot, right? You've got your leather sole and then you've got your footbed. On a manufactured cowboy boot, the footbeds, a lot of times, not all the time, a lot of times are made out of this very thin, either cardboard or fiberboard, whatever you want to call it. I call it trash, footbeds. And then they have a piece of like foam on top and then they have a leather covering. A wood peg is not gonna hold all that together. That's why a lot of these boots also have brass tacks. So the brass tack goes in through the sole, in through the footbed and everything else and then clinches to that footbed. That's how they keep it together. And even then, there are times that that fails. So it's not a foolproof um, system, but it, it does fail and it does, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work the way it's intended. On a cowboy boot that's got leather footbeds, you know, you gotta poke a hole first. So the brass, the, uh, not brass tack, the wood peg goes in through the sole, in through the footbed. A lot of times the footbed is just as thick as the sole itself. So when you've got two pieces of leather that are roughly maybe a quarter inch thick, eighth to a quarter inch thick, and a wood peg, when you get it wet, it expands, so it holds. And that's why wood pegs hold the soles together. That's why on a lot of cowboy boots that are custom made boots, you know, with guys that are like mass producing them, they just, a lot of times they just use wood pegs. And that's all they use, through. even even to hold the stack leather heel bases together, they use wood pegs. <clears throat> and so, because once you get them wet, they expand. So what does that mean? That means if you have a pair of boots that was made in Mexico, a pair of boots that was made by a big company in China, wherever, you do not need wood pegs. The wood pegs are mainly there for aesthetics purposes. They look good, but they serve zero purpose. Now, if you have a pair of really nice handmade cowboy boots or you got a pair of, uh, you know, there's companies out there that have leather he uh, footbeds and that's, uh, I think, Black Black. as far as I know, Blackjack still has them, uh, Anderson Bean, Rio Sur Mercedes, ah, uh, that, what is it, Olave Boot Company, which all of those are under the same umbrella as Anderson Bean, you know, Black, uh, not Blackjack, Anderson Bean, Rio Sur Mercedes, and Olay, I believe they're under, and they've got some different brands that are out of Mexico, but the, the main ones that have the leather footbeds are gonna be Anderson Bean, Blackjack, uh, Rio Sur Mercedes, and I believe Olay. I don't think, I've, I've never taken a pair of those boots apart. 
Now you talk about Los Altos, you talk about uh, Tecovas, you talk about these boot brands from Mexico. None of those boots have uh, leather footbeds. I can guarantee you that for a fact. I've taken plenty of Tecova, Tecova's boots apart. I've taken plenty of Los Altos boots apart. They don't not have uh, leather footbeds, which means that the wood pegs that are in those boots serve zero purpose. They're just there for looks. They look cool, but they serve zero purpose. All right, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button. Like we were talking earlier, unless you jumped in late for whatever reason, I can't do live videos on my channel until I hit thousands, thousand subscribers. And I think we can do some cool stuff on live videos. So if you don't mind, hit the thumbs up and uh, we'll see you on the next one. We got a lot of things coming up. Um, instead, since I'm not able to do live videos, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna record a video of me taking a pair of boots apart and kind of going over it with you, figuring out, you know, telling you what, what's good about it, what's not good about it. And we'll kind of go over the whole process of taking it apart, putting it together, and uh, maybe relasting a couple. I've got some last coming in, so we'll relast it and kind of change the the footbeds, put leather footbeds. You know, we'll do the whole, uh, we'll channel them and everything. Um, we'll do the whole fast for the footbeds as well. We're not gonna use giving or anything like that. We'll do it the traditional way, which is the right way. And so with that being said, I'm not going to uh, take up any more of your time. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.